Aloha, this is Heidi at Easy Peasy. Our family of four is traveling the world full time. In this video, I'm going to show you my toddler daughter's minimalist capsule wardrobe for travel. wardrobe is based around her woolies. So these serve both as a water repellent diaper cover to go over her cloth diapers or cloth training pants and they also function as her pants, shorts, or bloomers under her dresses. So at the beginning of our trip our daughter was 13 months old and we've been on the road for five months now so she's 18 months old. We started out with her wearing organic cotton fitted diapers under her woolies and now she's mostly wearing just cloth training pants, or also we've been using some disposable pull-ups and still wearing her woolies like as shorts over them. Wool's awesome because it's natural, breathable, biodegradable, temperature regulating, and it barely ever needs to be washed. I've been washing her woolies about once every two months on this trip, which is super cool for travel. We have four pairs of Truly Karis woolies that her wardrobe is built around. She has this navy blue soaker, she has a pair of Aurora Borealis Capris and these are the toddler fit so they're easier to pull up and down and these are like magic pants. I got them so that they'll last fitting on her for two or three years. When she started wearing these Capris at one year old they went all the way down to her ankle but now that she's a toddler she's mostly growing in height but rather than getting chubbier and so I think she'll be able to wear these maybe till she's three years old. They'll still fit, they'll just turn more and more into capris on her. She has one wool skirty, so underneath is like an interlock wool diaper cover, and then she has this merino wool skirt attached to it. Bright yellow wool bubble shorts, and since these are a lighter color, she usually just wears these for bedtime, and occasionally, if all the other ones are dirty, she'll wear these out and about too. So other than her woolies, the rest of her clothes are packed in these two e-bags small packing cubes. This one has most of her actual outfits, her dresses, and her shirts, and this one is her pajamas and her socks. I had originally planned to film this as part of our packing series before we left on our world adventure, but her wardrobe didn't turn out to be as minimalist as I had planned. At the last minute, we got some nice hand-me-downs and also some gifts. And I figured, why not just bring it all with us, and then as she outgrows items, or if they get stained and ruined, we can take them out of her wardrobe, and it will kind of shrink over time. But that way we won't be needing to buy new items for a while. I really wanted this wardrobe to last at least one year since we plan to be on the road that long. Okay, so her entire wardrobe is based around these four, her capris, soaker, wool bubble shorts, and her skirty. What I tried to do is I tried to have multiple dresses or shirts that could all go with one pair. <laughs> she has a couple merino wool shirts. She has one special occasion outfit, so this ruffle shirt from Truly Karis matches just right with her skirty, so if she ever needs to dress up a little bit, she can wear that. She also has a long sleeve merino wool shirt from Truly Karis. I got one of these for each of my kids for like airplane travel days, and she could wear this with her skirty since the colors match, or she normally wears it with her navy blue soaker and then some long socks on the airplane so she doesn't get too hot. We're usually going from hot weather to hot weather but it gets cold on the airplane. On top I also have one shirt that we picked up along the way. Our friends gave her a cute little outfit when we were in Japan. Super cute little shirt and the shorts that go with it as well. So now we can see her main outfits kind of moving in a gradient from the blues and teals to the yellows. So for instance to wear with these she could wear her Winter Water Factory organic cotton dress. She could wear her Rick's Island wear dress, and this is made with cotton and linen. She could wear this little shirt that was a hand-me-down from her cousin, and this also pairs super nice with her capris. At the beginning of our trip, this was always what she was reaching for. Anytime if this was clean, she'd wear this first. Then moving on to some items that pair more with the capris, she 
could wear. This one from Rick's Island Wear and our whole family has these little matching outfits. She also has these dresses that were hand-me-down from a friend that work either with her capris or with the soaker under and she's also wearing another one of these dresses. They're a really lightweight material. I think it's probably rayon and since they're so thin they're really nice for packing. So those are kind of her blues and her greens and then I have some yellow ones thinking they would go with her bubble shorts. They're not a perfect match but like I said she normally wears those just for bedtime. We have that one, another little dress from Winter Water Factory, and she can wear this either with the yellow shorts or the navy blue soaker underneath. One more of the Rick's Island where we went kind of crazy on their Black Friday sale and got a bunch of matching outfits for our daughter and son from Rick's Island Wear. This one's really cool. I got it from a lady who sells through a Facebook group. Um, if I find the link, I'll include it in the description box below. This is cotton and it's reversible, so that's a super cool idea for when you're traveling because it's like you can have two different looking outfits in one. So on this yellow side, I normally pair it with the navy blue sh soaker. I was hoping that these yellow shorts would match, but they're not really the same shade. And then you can flip this inside out, and now she's got a pink option. So it has kind of these teal leaves on it, and she could wear that with these capris. This is more than the bare necessity. She definitely could get away with fewer outfits, but some things she's still growing into, like this shirt doesn't quite fit her yet, and then some of the things she's starting to grow out of. This is a smaller size, and she's starting to grow out of this as well. So as we narrow it down, donate or get rid of some of these items, her wardrobe will get smaller. I was really happy that while we were in Thailand, we found a cute little backpack that matched with her different woolies. I saw this and I immediately just had to have it, let her try it on, and she had to have it too. She didn't want to take it off. And I really like how it coordinates with the different colors in her wardrobe. It's a nice soft cotton, and she likes to keep her different things, her keys in her wallet, in this adorable little backpack. It's got a little charm her dad I got her in Japan. Now this small packing cube holds all her pajamas and socks. As you just saw, she threw it all over the place so it's a little disorganized now. She has one pair of long pajamas. These have a really cool zipper that passes through legs. And we've been in hot weather so we actually haven't needed these yet. The couple times that we were in colder weather at night, I just had her wear her wool capris and her long sleeve wool shirt to bed. So now we can see she's got her bedtime shirts, her socks in there, and she decided to put on a pair. She likes dressing up in her socks. This is a little t-shirt that could either be for bedtime or during the day. She could wear it with either her navy or yellow woolies. And then she has a couple organic cotton comfy baby t-shirts. This one says saving the planet one diaper at a time. It says we mostly cloth diaper. This is her easy peasy shirt. If you'd like to learn more about elimination communication, and cloth diapering, please subscribe to our ECPC YouTube channel. She had a pair of these tank tops that we started out with. One's in the wash right now. And then we bought another set of bedtime tank tops. Um, while we were in Thailand, she really likes it because it has popsicles and ice cream cones on it. So that's her favorite. If that's clean, she always chooses that. And then some of her outfits had little bottoms to wear with them, but she doesn't usually wear these since she's usually wearing her woolies on bottom. These ones match with her rash guard, so she likes to wear them to the swimming pool. So she's got her stripy leg warmers. These really cute Wee Marcel knee-high socks. Again, they can go with navy blue or yellow. Since I pack a lot of short things for her, then I like to add long socks and it'll keep her legs warm or it'll keep the mosquitoes away. Also on the airplane, we all like to wear our long knee-high socks. And she's got this other Christmassy pair. They're nice warm ones. Oh! Dada! Did you do it? Did you do it? Oh no! Where are you She's got a little hat. In the swimming pools in Japan, they expect you to wear a swim hat, so we got those for our kids there. We got this cute little rash guard from Hawaii that one of our friends gave us. And then I chose a swim diaper that could match with either of her ash guards. So this one's from Blueberry and it can go with the pink 
why she also has a City Threads. I love City Threads because all their clothing are made in the USA. And I got this one a bit big on her. It says 18 to 24 months, just knowing she'll grow. She'll kind of outgrow this one on the trip and then she's growing into this one. I almost forgot her other accessories. She has one hoodie sweater. I think this was a gift from her Awasa and her grandma that her Auntie Marisol likes to give her clothes to. So it might have been from her. She has two hats. This little sun hat I carry around in my bag with me every day. And then this is more of her swimming sun hat. Also a gift from her cousin. She has two pairs of shoes. These are her soft star shoes. I chose these soft star shoes with custom colors so we can get the teal that matches with her capris and then it has a little navy blue trim so that matches with her blue outfits too. They're minimalist shoes so there's no heel on them and they're super flexible. A nice wide toe box. I ended up getting her size six because the first pair I ordered was way too small on her. But I love soft star shoes for minimalist leather shoes and it's great that these match with her capris. So those are what she's wearing most days, these shoes and her capris. When we went to the beach in Mankali, she needed a pair of sandals that could get wet. So we bought these at a store there. Unfortunately, they're not great. They have a bit of a heel. They're somewhat flexible, but kind of hard to get on her feet and then the straps end up falling off. So we'll need to find some better pair of sandals that can get wet for her. So I just counted and she had seven dresses, two tunics, and I remembered this one is from Urban Arrows Clothing Co. and it's a reversible pinafore. And then five shirts, one of them's a long sleeve. So thinking about it, she could get by with just half that much. This is 14 outfits total. She'd be fine probably with seven outfits total and that would be one long sleeve shirt and then the rest um, mix of short sleeve dresses and t-shirts. Also for her sleep shirts, she'd be fine with about half as many as she has now. So that's it for my one year old girls capsule wardrobe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to learn more about elimination communication and cloth diapering. Bye-bye. Can you make bye-bye? Bye-bye.